Hi everybody, Dan Ilman, Matt Bernier, the DRF.com Formulator Race of the Day for Sunday, April the 23rd. Race number seven at Woodbine. We're going six furlongs on the Tapita surface. It's the grade three whimsical stakes for fillies and mares. Let's take a look at this field. We've got a horse of the year making her seasonal debut, and that's the number five, Karen. Yeah, she was rock solid last year, wasn't she? Whether it was turf, whether it was synth, she got the job done. The Mrs. Revere, they took a shot at Churchill last year to round things out, didn't quite work, also didn't catch the best of footing. Um, it'll be interesting to see. I mean, if she's ready to go here, I think she's going to be the horse to beat. Now, on paper, she doesn't have a, a major edge on any of these horses, but I think just on reputation alone, she's going to get back. And she's also got big speed. But the question is, do you really think Michael DiPaolo is going to have this one razor sharp for the first start back. It's a long year and there's a lot of money to be made. Probably not, and you would imagine that she's going to excel going longer as well. Six furlongs may be a little bit on the short side. I'll be interested to see where she is positioned. She's shown speed in all of her starts, but the majority have come going longer. Remember folks, head on over to the Race of the Day event page on DRF.com. Download those free formulator past performances for the whimsical and handicap along with us. Let's start with the one, Galena Point. Galena Point didn't do much last time out in the River Memories on turf. I'm not going to hold that race against her because I don't think she's a turf mm -hmm. horse. This is the surface she wants, but she runs second a lot, nine times from 23 starts. And my feeling concerning Galena Point is she needs everything to go her way. Yeah, and I mean, look, she's going to be coming from off the pace, and I wonder if that kind of adds to that sort of settling for minor awards more often than not. She's going to need some pace in front of her. I think there's a little bit of pace in here. I don't think it's going to be some sort of blistering set up early on, so maybe that compromises her chances. But if you're looking for a little bit of a number underneath, maybe her. One of the horses I'm going to be using in this race is the number two, Euro Boss, who has recency on several of the top contenders in this race and is in very sharp form for Michael Stidham. And here's a Michael Stidham formulator fact. Over the past five years with older last out winners moving from turf to synthetic, 38%, a $2.37 ROI. I thought Euroboss got a really nice trip last time out. She ran well. It was more of a workmanlike performance than anything else. Uh, but she's done well on synthetic in the past. She's sharp. Ten to one on the line seems like a good price. Yeah, I, I guess I just question a little bit. It, I mean, her figs at the fairgrounds are so much better than what she had done True. prior to that. And I wonder, I mean, maybe she just put it all together, or maybe those figs are a little bit on the high side. We mentioned that Karen is likely to be a forward factor in this spot, despite the layoff, despite cutting back in distance. But let's see what our friends at Time Form US have to say about the pace. And they have the number three Secretariat Humor outfooting the number two Euro boss to the early lead. And they've got Karen tucked in in third. Secretariat Humor on the lead in her last two races, now with Roger Atfield. It'll be interesting to see where everything does shake down from a pace standpoint because I, mean, I can see this horse being forward, but I think there's some other horses that are going to be more forward as well. Plus, Secretariat Humor's win at Woodbine last year came from off of the pace. So she's versatile. Alan Garcia will probably play it by year from the gate based on how what Karen does and how aggressively she's ridden. The number four is Crumlin Spirit. We haven't seen Crumlin Spirit since October where she finished last in the ruling Angel Stakes. That's not her. She's much better than that sort of performance, but she's another one that likes to run second. I mean, she's better than that performance, but I don't know that she's good enough to run with these girls. Let's, let's skip down to the seven, Skylander Girl. And Skylander Girl is rock solid. She's earned over $600,000 in her career. The issue is, while well, Karen and River Maid, who we'll get to in a minute are both coming off layoffs. Skylander Girl's coming off an even longer layoff. We haven't seen her since May 8th of 2016, where she finished an even third in the Hendry after being forced into the five path turning into the stretch. I think the combination of the layoff and you look at the way that she's run in the past, I think she has to be forward. And I understand the pace projector has her sort of mid-pack. Maybe that's ultimately where she ends up. I think they have to send her out of there and try to hope for the best because if you think maybe the three is a little bit of suspect quality, maybe the two, you have no idea. Maybe she's better on the turf than she is on the synth. At least Skylander Girl has shown in the past that Woodbine can be her friend. She can be forward, but like you said, she's been gone for a long time. Let's take a look at our top selections for our formulator race of the day, the grade three whimsical. Matt, tell us about the number six, Southern Ring. Southern Ring is a horse that lightly raced thus far, only gone out nine times, four times a winner. I'm drawing a line through each of the past two. The minaret on dirt really doesn't bother me. I almost feel like that was nothing more than just getting the season started. 
the way that we ended 2016, I don't want to hold that against her either. That was a turf sprint, not what she wants to do. You go to those two runs up here at Woodbine over the synthetic, sprinting six and seven furlongs. I mean, she's a neck away from being two for two in graded stakes races. Uh, I just like everything about her. I also think she's going to get the jump on the horse that you like, River Maiden. And she should get a great trip under Eureka Rose into Silver. Karen will be forward. Southern Ring's likely to be perched just outside that horse in a nice stalking spot. And I agree with you about the last two races, especially the Minaret. A, she caught a really sharp horse in Spanish Concert, who's now won four of her last five races after returning from the Minaret to win again with a 79 buyer speed figure. Two, she just didn't seem to handle the dirt. She ran okay, but she was very late to change leads in the Minaret. And that's not the Southern Ring that we were used right. to seeing over the synthetic surface. I really think with that race under her girth and now getting back to Woodbine, she'll run much better. Let's talk about my top selection, the number eight, River Maid. River Maid was the champion female sprinter of Canada last year. She's won half of her starts. She has a little bit of a bad habit where she hops back to her left lead in the late stages of her races. Another one that has to deal with the layoff, but she's rock solid. She yeah. just gets a little bit of pace. You know she'll come rolling late. Hard to knock her. You know, she's only been off the board twice from 14 lifetime starts. The most recent time she was off the board that was on a turf sprint I just think there's so much here to like I think she's going to show up with her race the layoff doesn't bother me the question becomes does she get the pace that she really needs to kind of accentuate that late kick she won her seasonal debut the past two years so she returns fresh and ready to fire off the bench I don't like that she's two to one on the morning line we'll see if Karen takes a lot of money off of the layoff six eight five and seven for Matt eight two one and seven for me in the grade three whimsical and if you're playing the Woodbine Sunday card from home, DRF Bets invites you to be a VIP for a week. Head on over to drfbets.com slash VIP, start off with a $300 bonus, and lots of goodies as well. Approximate post time for the Grade 3 Whimsical at Woodbine on Sunday, 419 Eastern. Good luck.